Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, we are doing a little conversion. So I've been running eight foot T12 fluorescent lights in this shop for eight, nine, 10 years-ish. So I came across a deal on Amazon. I will try to link it down below. And I found four bulbs for $120-ish, yeah, something like that. So I decided, why not? I wanted to convert it to LED, a little more efficient, a little brighter light, and believe me, it is brighter. So this is, behind me is the fluorescence. These are the LEDs, and you can tell the light coming off my shoulders on both of them is just these are 6,000 K lights 6,000 K lights uh, I am going to show you how to replace it so you convert your fluorescent to LED and it's so simple mind you it's gonna vary on each lights so there are some lights that have um, for instance, I have a double light fixture, so I have wires coming out of both ends and then they go into the ballast. On single lights, some of the single lights, they only have wired on one side. Um, some have it wired on both. So this is going to be what mine are. Mine are double, uh, double lights and they have wires coming from both posts. So simple. You eliminate your ballast, you put your LEDs in, and you enjoy the bright light. And it's bright. Is it, like I said, 6,000. I don't. I wouldn't want to go higher than 6,000 because then you start turning a little blue. But, anyways, I will. We will get into this. So if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit that bell notification when I release videos. I have some stuff in the work coming, so stay tuned and hit that like button. Let's get started. All right, so the first and probably the most important thing, if you're not comfortable working with electricity, is to shut the power off. I am comfortable working with electricity, so I am not shutting power off, but it is what it is. So make sure you shut it off. <laughs> so we are going to get rid of this baby. This sucker sucks a lot of juice. It's very hot. And the simple way to wire this, because with LEDs you wire it direct. So you're gonna take these two, you're gonna snip them right here. Then you're gonna take these two and you're gonna snip them right here. And these are gonna get connected together. These are going to get connected together and one of the other, your neutral and your hot is going to get separated. So let's say your hot goes to that end. So these two wires will go connect into the hot. Your neutral will go this way and get connected into these two. It's that simple. It's a direct wire. So for anyone that doesn't know, um, these are T12. Well, okay, the old bulbs are T12. So what I'm doing, I'm putting T8s and mine are single pin sockets. Now the sockets are gonna be the same size between 12 and 8s. So it doesn't matter if you could do a, a 12 to an 8 or 8 to a 12 because the sockets are gonna be the same, same size. Um, I bought single strip uh, LEDs you have some that are double and some that are even triple strips. Honestly, each bulb is rated for 4,000 lumens. So just in this fixture that's over my right shoulder is 8,000 lumens. That's quite a lot of light and I've already noticed a gigantic difference between what I had and what I have now. Okay, so the light is dead. I've disconnected my power through this, so now I can just go snippity snip snip. Really? 
one time I get my steps in the wrong spot. One. Two. You don't have to take this out. You don't have to, you can leave the ballast in, but I want to take it out. It's a weight thing. Less stress on everything else. That's got some heft to it. So let's get to wiring. So yeah, all you gotta do is just connect this, connect it into your hot. No big deal. All these suckers go into here. This is just an extension I'm doing. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, this tool is uh, probably one of my most favorite tools. It strips wire like crazy. I love this tool. That'll come in the other day. All right, so this, Line around. There we go. So this is the one end. The two wires. There were two. Uh, now they're connected with an extension. So there's my extension. Connected into the hot. And then on the other side, the whole side, so all four wires are connected into the neutral. So let's give this a whirl. No more ballast. I took it out. So let's see how this runs. Just set you down here. <clears throat> okay. Look at that. We got some juice. That's pretty stinking bright. Whew, wow. Now, just to admit, Amazon kind of screwed up. So I ordered four single strips and they sent me, you can see it, one bulb with the double strip in it. So it's gonna be a little brighter than the other ones. I believe it's 5,000 lumens or 6,000. I can't remember. Maybe it's eight, who knows? But that is how easy it is to wire these suckers up. And one more tip is because these are plastic and eight feet long, it is a good idea to put a zip tie to hold them up so they don't sag and eventually bust and crack and all that fun stuff. So that in a nutshell is how you convert fluorescent to LED. Um, there's going to be some variations depending on what kind of bulb, um, what kind of, make sure that the bulbs that you're replacing in your fixture is the same as what you're going to put in or what it wasn't and whatever. It's easy. So easy. I just looked up, saw a wiring schematic and it's like, what? Really? Okay. And I did it live. You don't have to. I advise not to because uh, the shocks are very pretty. I didn't get shocked, but they're not pretty anyway, so I've been shocked. And they are bright, very bright. I am extremely happy. Um, what's end up gonna happen is I'm going to buy four more for the back two lights. And in the middle, so let's spin around here. In the middle of the shop, when the garage door is up, like this, it blocks my eight foot light. So what I'm gonna probably end up doing in the summertime when I have the doors open, I'm probably gonna put a four foot LED right here. 
No, this way. No. This way. No. This way. There we go. <laughs> I'm going to put it this way so that way when the doors are open, I still have light to the middle of my shop. So that's that's a future plan. But I am going to bore or buy four more of these bulbs. Um, blown away. Just amazed on how how well it is. And you can see the difference too. Um, it's it's dramatic difference. Like that whole corner is now like super bright. Now mind you, I have the double Amazon kind of muffed up, but whatever. Thank you, thank you Amazon. Uh, you want to send some more? I'm all down with that. Uh, like I said, I'll put the link in the, the bottom description below as far as where I got these. Like way less power you're gonna consume. Uh, way cooler, so for people in summertime, that's gonna be a huge difference, especially with me in a shop that's not air conditioned. Air conditioned, and uh, save on power because I have one breaker running in the shop. That's gonna change. Yeah, so very happy with how this was. Um, very easy to do. I can't explain how easy it was to convert this. Mind-boggling. Um, in the background, you might see another vehicle. I have a bunch of parts sitting on my bench that are going in said vehicle and it's going to replace my hoopty van. Exciting. I get another vehicle to drive. Uh, Genesis stuff is coming soon. Uh, they are making parts that I should receive them within a week or so. Uh, I also have struts to do. Uh, there's going to be a brake conversion. I'm going to put Brembo's on it at some point when I find the calibers. Um, table saw, new router, router table, into the table saw, just, I got stuff, I got stuff coming, and I'm going to have some updates on some of the older reviews I've done, so stay tuned for that, that is also coming. Um, for now, that's all I have, very simple, give her a thumbs up if you like this, it's uh, nothing, it's, like I said, you're gonna have to look at some of the other uh, wire, uh, lights. This is just my lights. There are other lights out there that have different schematics. So there are the videos. There's a ton of videos on how to do the conversion. So uh, that's it. So take care and have a good one.